What's up guys, I'm AlphaYT, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to install and create your own Minecraft mod pack. So if you guys already have Fabric or Forge installed in your Minecraft launcher, then you can skip to this time mark in the video. But if you don't, then I'm going to be showing you guys how to install that because it is important, or at least I'm pretty sure it is. So Fabric, so you open fabricmc.net, which all of the links for this will be in the description. So once you're on this page, you just want to click download, or you can click that blue button. And then you're going to want to click download universal jar instead of download for Windows. Click save, and it should be downloaded. And then if you guys want to install Forge, just choose whichever version you want over here. So we're just going to do 1.20.6, and I'm just going to install this version. And then don't click anything on here, otherwise, I don't know, something bad will probably happen. It might scam you, I don't know. For some reason my computer doesn't show anything there usually will be an ad here just click the red skip button in the top right corner and then click save next thing you're going to want to do is open up your files or wherever you saved your mods go into downloads which is where i saved mine and then so i'm just going to show you guys how to I'll, yeah i'll just show you guys how to do both so you're going to want to right click on fabric installer open with java and then you can select whichever version you want. Again, I'm going to do 1.20.6. And then don't select anything else for these. Unless your launcher location is a different one, then click on that. Otherwise, just click install. There we go. That has been installed. And then for Forge, again, just right click on it. Open with Java. And then click OK. And there we go. It should be done. So once you guys either have Fabric or Forge installed, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods or mod packs first. And so you're going to want to make sure that you have the Curse Forge app downloaded. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to install mods. And I just recommend doing it this way because it's a lot easier. So first thing you guys want to do, obviously, make sure you have the Curse Forge app. Next, you can basically install mods, mod packs. You can install pretty much everything on here. And so I recommend doing it through the Curse Forge app instead of trying to manually do it because I think that it might be easier. For me, I prefer to do it manually just so that way I can like have my mods and make sure that they're all in the right folders and everything. But it is easier to do it through the Curse Forge app. And so for mod packs, so we're just going to download this one, I guess. And then just click on install here. And then if you want to, here, I'll cancel this. You can also click on versions and then you can select whichever version you want. So I think for this one, they only have 1.20.1. So we can just click install. And so it'll just install like the newest one. All right, guys. So once it's done downloading, it should be in my mod pack. And then you can just click on it or you can just click play right here. And then it will automatically open up the Minecraft launcher and it will put you in the game. And so next I'm gonna, I'm just gonna delete this real quick so that way it's not in the way because I didn't actually want to download that. Okay, so you can see here that I already have one of my mod packs. And so I'm just gonna create a new one here. So just click on create. Oh yeah, we'll just do this. And then we'll just click on fabric. I'm just gonna do 1.20.6. That one's just easier. And then just click create. And so if you are doing fabric, it will automatically install the fabric API, which is really nice so you don't have to like try and do that. And then just click on the add more content button. And then you can add all the different mods here. And then you can add resource pack, shaders, worlds. This is a really good resource pack too. I re definitely recommend that one. Just thought I should say that. Yeah, for mods, we'll just, yeah, we'll install Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Really nice mod. Hey, I don't think, I, is this a new one? I don't think I've used this one yet. <gasps> this is a new one. Oh my gosh, guys, I know what my next mod Minecraft video is going to be. Okay, definitely, oh, check this one out. Okay, that's actually so cool. I'm so happy I saw that. All right, but after that, you guys can just click on the play button here, and it will do the same thing. But if you guys want to upload it, you just click on the three dots here. Click on export profile. So down here. It'll ask you, so if you have like a resource mod installed, it'll like ask you like, do you want to install like the mods and the resource pack? And so just, if you guys want to only install certain ones, obviously click on those ones. And so I'm installing everything. So just click export, save, there we go. And then you can just minus that or close out, doesn't matter. Click on browse, actually click on create, start a project, click on Minecraft, and then project name, just whatever, image, we'll click iris, summary, whatever, class, mod packs, main category, so basically whichever one you think your mod pack is most like i'm just going to select a random one because i'm not actually uploading this and then this one's optional and then you can choose to allow comments and just say that this project is experimental and so i'm just gonna leave all that blank because i don't really care and so and actually i'm gonna go back for the title for this too they are really picky on your title and your description so i will leave a link down below for like all of the rules that you have to have because i tried to upload my uh, minecraft mod pack and originally it was going to be named like alpha yt's default mod pack and i wanted that to be the one that i use for like recording and so if you guys wanted to know which mods i use for like all my re videos where i'm recording in like minecraft fabric then it would just be in like a nice little mod pack and they didn't want to have the word mod pack in the project name which i thought was very strange because it's like why just 
why not just let me name it that like what harm is it doing but so i changed it to recording craft which i know it's stupid but like that's the only thing i can think of so just make sure that your project name is like like you can't have the words like mods or like mod back in there you, i don't think you can even have the word minecraft in there you can have the word craft which is fine but yeah it's very i don't know they're very like strict on that i guess and then in description too make sure that you list all of the mods or at least most of the mods in the description and then give like a little summary so i can just kind of show you guys what i did in my mod pack because i listed all of them and gave a summary for all of them because there's not a lot i think there's like five mods so, so this is like all of the mods here that i use so like fabric api replay mod iris sodium bsl shaders and complementary shaders and then there's just a description for all of them and then like what this mod pack is and then yeah it's just called recording craft this is also linked in the description too so if you guys want to download this then i don't know i guess download it which game versions oh i only have it for 1.20.6 that's kind of silly so sorry maybe i'll i'll update it but yeah so just make sure your description is following those rules and then after that click next and then you just leave all this blank just make sure that you click on something though so just click don't allow all right guys so after you click the create button your um, mod pack you're just gonna click add file choose file show all files or actually it's right here click on open that should load then you put like publish automatically uh, i'm just gonna do publish this file manually because i don't actually want to upload this mod loader i think so yeah okay so this is for fabric so just select whichever one you guys chose i chose minecraft or fabric and then i did 1.20.6 so at least i will you can just leave that blank that's not important change log don't have to do anything for that then yeah there are no relations for this in the file and then it's a, it will say that it's submitted and yeah that's pretty much all and then next what you have to do is just wait for it to get approved by the moderators but yeah that's uh, it's really simple really easy pretty much all you do and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like and subscribe i really appreciate it and if you guys have any questions please let me know down below and i will do my best to try and answer them but as always i'm alpha yt and i will see you guys in the next video bye